now that you have that quality, you have the lightness of your hands and you have the heaviness of your feet. Now see if you can get that feeling without stomping. So now that you've done a lot of stomping, your feet should automatically start to feel heavy. So now, get into this posture, put your feet shoulder width apart, a little bit wider than that, adjust it so it's comfortable. Your feet can be pointing straight forward, or your feet sometimes can point slightly outwards, but don't go too much, and don't go inwards too much. So find that part where it's the most comfortable, bend your knees slightly, and then feel the heaviness of your feet in the same way that you felt when you were stomping the ground. Now next, align your spine, okay? Head nice and tall, neck nice and tall, shoulders down and relaxed, and then feel that spine alignment that we discussed in the uh, other lessons. Okay, now what I want you to do is just raise your hands like this, and then make sure that they're nice and loose, just like we practiced in the uh, previous part. So you see my, my hands are nice and loose, but they're in this position. So if, you, if your middle fingers, middle fingers should be at your sternum level, okay? That's how far they should be out. And then imagine you're holding a big tree. So this is a big circle, okay? So you look from the top. My arms are like this. Right from the side, it looks like this. Right from the top, looks like that. See how it's all round around here, all round. So you want to, don't want to do is to uh, let's say make it like this. Now it's a, now it's a corner there, right? Or you make it like this, and now there's a corner here. Or you make it like this, and now it's too straight. So it needs to be a round ball, all the way around in front of you. Even your chest needs to be slightly round, so that you're hugging the tree, and then that roundness is all around your arms and your entire upper structure. What also helps is, um, is to keep your shoulders down, okay? So don't raise your shoulder like this. Keep your shoulders down. See my elbows are kind of just hanging from there, but don't do that, okay? That's too low. So because you can't hug a tree like this, you have to hug a tree. You can't hug a tree like this. You have to hug a tree like this because there's a big tree trunk in front of you. Another way to imagine it is you're holding this big cauldron, like this big giant pot, and you're wrapping your arms around the pot. All right, so once you have that, your hands should be relaxed. Your hands should be slightly open like this, and your fingers should be pointing towards each other. Okay, at this point, what you want to do is just get comfortable with this position. If you feel yourself having tension, that's okay. Just move it around and just get back into the position. Now practice your breathing exercises. What I want you to do is the, um, is the uh, reverse breathing. So breathe in, contract, and then relax. And then expand your belly. Breathe in, contract, relax expand your belly and what that does is it helps you to ground even more because as you expand your belly that opens up your hips and when your hips open up then your legs start to feel heavier all right so that is the very basic iron body position and you may get tired let's see if you can do this for one minute without changing position and then you can work your way up to longer times. And as you're doing this, the intention is to keep your legs very heavy. So keep imagining that your legs are getting heavy and getting sucked into the ground, deep into the core of the earth. At the same time, feel that your head uh, is being sucked up into the sky and lengthening and lengthening. So you're feeling this pulling upwards and downwards on your entire body, feeling the weight and heaviness of your legs and feel your, your, your upper body light. So practice this some more. Here's a side view. Do the breathing in, out, relax, in, out, relax, 
in, out, relax, okay? You can see from the back too. Okay, you can see from this side. Notice that my feet, I mean my, uh, my knees, are out. So I may create this arch of my legs, okay? You don't want it to go in like this. That is actually breaks the flow of energy to the ground. So you want to create a slight arch. You don't want it to be too wide. That will make you too tired. And actually breaks the energy out that way. So you want to have the energy flow in an arc to the ground, okay? So a slight arc in the inside of your leg is what you want. Now, if it's getting too tiring for you, you can kind of narrow your stance a little bit. It'll be a little bit easier for you to stand for longer times if you narrow your stance. You want to challenge yourself. Of course, you can do a wider stance, a lower stance, but for most people, you just do slightly, slightly wider but then shoulder apart so that you can feel the weight. If you stand too, too uh, upright or your feet together, it's harder to feel the weight of the legs. It'll be easier to feel the weight of the legs if they're a little wider. So experiment with it, you know, different widths to feel which, which is the most comfortable and also which one feels the heaviest. Notice that as I'm doing this, my hands are not too close here because now there's no tree. There's no tree in here. And make sure it's not completely extended because the tree is not that, it's not like a rectangle. A tree is nice and round. So this needs to make this nice round shape. And um, your hands shouldn't be too far apart, shouldn't be too close together. Just, I would say one hand breath in between will be ideal. So that's the position. And I'll show you some of the ways that you can test to see if you're uh, doing this correctly. Now, once you get used to this position, it make you take you some time to get comfortable with this position because maybe your arms are not used to being held up for so long or you're not used to bending your knees for like that or you're not used to having such a straight spine. Well, that's okay because it just takes time to get comfortable with it. And if you start getting tired, then just relax, you know, and start all over. The point is not to, um, it's not like working out where you have to push to your limit. That's not the point. The point is just to get your, activate that part and just get your body used to feeling that connection, that alignment. Okay, so what you want to do is um, if you feel a tension, breathe into that tension. Okay, so breathe into, let's say my, my shoulders are getting tired. Okay, so what I want to do is imagine I'm breathing chi or energy directly in my shoulders. And then you may feel it tighten up a little bit more, which is okay. So put your awareness there, feel, feel the tension, and then just let it go like that. Okay. So I want you to use your breath and your intention to relieve the tension or the fatigue instead of um, trying to push through it like, like an exercise or like, a, like, a, like working out at the gym. So we want to be relaxed and we want to have the energy flow. So any tension will stop or inhibit the flow of energy. So whenever there's tension, either just relax it completely and start all over or if you want, you can, like I said, breathe and do that part and then relax that part while still maintaining that position. Okay, so for example, my legs are getting tired. I would imagine me breathing energy into my legs and then relax and kind of sink more into that, into that position. Letting that, you know, the lactic acid and letting the, um, the tension kind of drain down to the ground and while keeping that position though. So it'll be like this, let's say I'm getting tired. You don't want to go like tense it more because in most workouts they teach you to tense it more or push harder and to go to your limit. But what we want to do is to actually relax it more. And through the relaxation is where you're going to find true power because now you're becoming more efficient and you're training your legs to use just that little sliver of muscle fiber to do what you needed to do. Instead of firing all your muscle fibers at once, what happens is that when, when you do that, then you're using your legs not efficiently. 
because some muscles are pulling against other muscles and you're basically wasting energy. So the goal is you want to relax all your muscles while keeping the position so that you teach your muscles to just use that little sliver of fiber that you need in order to keep the position. So now you're a lot more efficient and now you're a lot more relaxed. So that's what this position is teaching you, is to use the alignment, your body structure and skeletal structure, your joints, to, uh, and a, maybe a little sliver of muscle fiber to use that as structure to support your body weight rather than to use your muscles to support your body weight, right? That's a very simple way to explain this is if you're going to use, if you're going to squat like this, what's supporting most of your weight is your quads right now, right? So you're using most of your muscle to support your weight. If you're standing up straight and tall, most of the support of your weight is just your bones, all right? So what we want to do is to use that body alignment so that you're using mostly bone and ligament to support your body weight rather than using your muscle mass. The next step to this exercise is to start breathing energy directly into different body parts. So one good place to practice is to breathe energy into your hands, just like we did the La Chi exercise. Now I want you to move the energy, not just into your hands, but I want you to start moving it up to your forearms, as well as up to your um, triceps, upper arms, and your shoulders. So let's, let's um, practice moving the energy just to our forearms, okay? So let's practice the forearm from the wrist to the elbow, right? Wrist to the elbow. So I want you to imagine breathing energy from just around your arms. Imagine there's a spiral, spiraling energy around your arms, okay? There's a spiral of energy going around your arms. And then when you breathe in, the spiral becomes smaller and it, it starts to go into your bones, okay? So breathe that energy into your arms, into your bones. And then relax and then breathe out, okay? The very key is that you need to keep your arms relaxed, keep your muscles loose, because if you tense the muscles, you won't feel it. So keep your muscles loose and breathe it in. And breathe out and relax. Breathe into your arms. Relax. Okay, don't tense your muscles at all. Don't breathe in and <laughs> like that, okay? Don't tense anything. Just keep your muscle relaxed and just breathe in. And just use your visualization and use your intention just to imagine the energy going deeper into your bones on your arms. Okay, now another thing, the next step is I want you to imagine as the, you breathe into your, into your bones, your, your arms actually get a little bit bigger. Imagine that it's expanding, like they're getting a little bit bigger every time you breathe in. And as you breathe out, they kind of get a little bit smaller. So you're breathing, imagine your arms are like balloons and they're lungs. And you're using your arms like lungs to breathe in the energy chi. As you breathe in, the lungs naturally get bigger. As you breathe out, they naturally get smaller. So all this is just your imagination. Just make it a game. Imagine there's these balloons. Your arms are balloons and they're getting bigger as you breathe in and then they get smaller as you breathe out. Okay, so this is uh, something you use to breathe it to each body part of your body. Starting with your hands, then your forearms, then your shoulders. And you can start using this to breathe into other parts of your body. For example, your legs, your calves, your back, your chest, your torso, and other areas. Music